All right, welcome back to Brian Man's Totally Awesome Collection. Guys, today I have old school basketball, 1990-91 season of Skybox. These cards have been skyrocketing in value. Uh, I was just looking on eBay, and the PSA 10s are uh, just they are getting crazy for the Jordans. So that's definitely what we're looking for. We're looking for the Jordans. They're over 500 bucks in a PSA 10. Uh, you got David Robinson there. Um, we're gonna be we're gonna be pulling out all the Hall of Famers if I can remember who they are. Um, I might miss a couple, but obviously we'll be we'll be uh, we'll be looking for Michael Jordan. We'll be looking for Magic Johnson, Larry Bird cards, David Robinson, Scottie Pippen, stuff like that. So uh, well known players, and uh, if I get any uh, cards that are gradable. I will probably eventually send them in to get graded. That's the goal here, guys. I want to pull out some, uh, hopefully pull out some gems out of this box and uh, build my collection and then possibly sell off the uh, ones that are, if I get multiple gems, uh, sell some off and recoup some of the investment. But uh, I do want to build the collection of Michael Jordan uh, gems. Um those cards are just going insane right now any jordan card right now all these boxes are um they're going up in value these boxes here um 1990 sky box was considered junk wax this is the junk wax era and um basically all these boxes are fetching some of them are fetching over 100 bucks a box now not sure if this is this one is I got these for under um, under 50 bucks a box for these ones so I know they're kind of going up and down um, on eBay like crazy so we will see we'll see what we can get one of my favorite sets of uh, all time honestly this uh the skybox set i always enjoyed this one 1990 skybox uh it was just something new it was different it was new i thought it was clever the way they did the uh the laser beams and stuff so yeah we'll see we'll see what we can get here I'm looking for the jordans and uh, sometimes, we'll look at the sides of these cards. Sometimes they uh, they have some junk on the sides where they kind of bleed through the colors. Like this uh, this tan color. So, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what we got. Irvin Johnson, right there. And that one has a little factory line on it, you can see. Uh, I'm not, that's... That's not good for that factory line. That's not going to be something I would choose to send in to get graded. But uh, that's unfortunate for that card. But I will put Magic Johnson's up there. Steve Kerr. Kenny the Jet. Bernard King is an all-star or a Hall of Famer. We'll be pulling out all the Hall of Fame cards. Probably be sleeving the uh, Jordans right off the bat. Hopefully we get them centered. Sometimes it's hard to get uh, centered cards uh, in these old 90s uh, sets. Bill Beer, bad boy right there. Kevin McHale, that's going to be a Hall of Famer. John Paxson, I don't, is he a Hall of Fame? I'm, I can't remember. I don't think so. Sarunas Marshallonis, that is a Hall of Famer, and that is also a rookie card right there. So we're going to put that one up there. Make sure we sleeve that. If you get a chance to see some of his videos on YouTube, check them out. I didn't know much about them, but I was looking at the uh, list of Hall of Famers within this set, and uh, 
that one came up and checked his videos out good player very good player and this one having a hard time getting into this pack here there we go yeah these uh these i always like these cards with the different colors um with the uh totally like 80s style there you know bj armstrong that's gonna be a rookie he's not a not a hall of famer but i will put go ahead and put him up there since it is a rookie some people collect that uh scotty pippen now that looks like a good card scotty pippen at the sleeve of that one good looking card I mean, you could get these, a couple years ago, you could get these boxes for 10 bucks, 10, 15 bucks. Now they're just skyrocketed in value. I wish I would have bought a ton of them, to tell you the truth. With the way they've gone up in price. Mitch Richmond. Uh, Mitch Richmond is a Hall of Fame, I believe. That was the uh, laundry machine going off there, giving me a jingle. Orlando, Terry Porter, is he in, I don't think he's a Hall of Famer, but that one looks like a pretty good, pretty good card. Sometimes you got to look at the surface of these cards too, make sure there's no dents in them and stuff. Cool. Hopefully we get like uh, two or three Jordans in this uh, box here. A couple Larry Birds. Some Irvin Johnsons. Ugh. Isaiah Thomas, that's a Hall of Famer right there. It looks like a pretty decent looking card. Put him up there, we'll sleeve him later on. Dennis Rodman. Uh, fighting off Larry Bird there, that's a pretty cool card. Really cool card. Just leave that one. Muggsy Bogues. Every time I see this card, I've set it aside for my wife. She was a Muggsy Bogues fan. So anytime we pull out a Muggsy Bogues, we will set them aside. Got a stack of Muggsy Bogues cards. Bill Lambeer again. Is that the third Bill Lambeer we got, possibly? Kevin McHale, that's a Hall of Famer. Looking like a pretty good looking card. Sarunas Marshallonis again. Hall of Fame rookie. Isaiah Thomas again. And that one has a little scratch on it. These packs can be hard to get into sometimes. And the cool thing about these cards was they had uh, cool backs. It looks like it has Will. Who is that? Will. Will Purdue. Looks like he's signing an autograph there for the kids. Michael Jordan card has uh, has Michael Jordan golfing on the back. Moses Malone. That's a Hall of Famer. James Worthy, 
Tim Hardaway. I think that's a rookie card for Tim Hardaway. Jack Sigma is a Hall of Famer. Set him aside. Adrian Dantley is a Hall of Famer. Set him aside. Rick Mahorn, B.J. Armstrong. We'll set that one aside again. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer, though. Scotty Pippen is. Something on that card. A little bit of pack dust. Looking like a pretty good card there. Getting a lot of doubles. Chris Mullen, that's going to be a Hall of Famer there. Pretty good looking card. Dominique Wilkins, Hall of Fame. Adrian Dantley, Hall of Famer. Patrick Ewing, Hall of Famer. Jack Sigma, Hall of Famer. Michael Jordan, where you at, buddy? Going for the Michael Jordan cards. These cards are bent up right here on the side there. You can see that. Look at that. On the top. Hopefully he's not in this pack. See that? Hopefully it's not that card. That's a Joe Dumars. Um, and that's a bummer. Because that is a Hall of Fame card. Joe Dumars. I'm not sure what happened to this pack. Maybe it dropped or something. Boxes are over 30 years old. There's a Larry Bird kind of sandwiched in the middle, so that's good. Let's see. Boy, that one... Uh, that one's looking pretty good. Pretty good Larry Bird card there. And uh, from what I can see... Very nice. That's going to be, that's probably going to be uh, sent to PSA, possibly, for that Larry Bird. Looks like a pretty good card. I'm going to sleeve it right now. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve the, uh... oh, I didn't sleeve Magic Johnson. Go ahead and sleeve this Magic Johnson card too. A little bit off center on that Magic Johnson. Not terrible though. All right, so uh, looking for the Michael Jordan card. So we did pull the Magic, uh, we pulled Larry Bird, Magic Johnson. It's time to pull the Jordan. David Robinson, there's a Robinson. Uh, 
Um, that one. Is looking very, very nice. Very nice looking card on that David Robinson. That's per, that's a valuable card too. In a 10. I don't know if it would get a 10, but it's pretty good looking. It might be a little bit of off center. But uh, everything else about it looks pretty good. Might fall within that 60-40 percentage. That they have over at PSA. I'm not sure. Their standard for the centering on the front for a gem has got to be within 60 40 percentage. Uh, there's a Drazen Petrovich Hall of Fame card. Michael Jordan, there we go. And it has a factory line in it. Ay, ay, ay. Look at this. It's very very obvious too look at that other than that that would have been that would have been a good card but yeah that factory line is not good I don't know what they would grade that as bunk so what they would grade it. They'd grade it bunk. Factory lines in there. Bummer. Maurice Cheeks. Hall of Famer. Well, maybe we'll get some more Jordans out of here. I've seen people pull two to three Jordans out of these boxes. If you get lucky. Maybe I'll get lucky. We shall see. Reggie Miller. Uh, Hall of Famer. Yeah, I, th I think it would be cool to pull a... Uh, Pull a Jordan gem out of here, or pull a, pull a Jordan, be able to send it in, get a gem, and just kind of, you know, pull a Jordan gem, you know what I mean, to add to the collection. Instead of buying one. There's a Charles Barkley, and that one is actually looking pretty nice. Pretty nice Charles Barkley there. Is that the first Barkley I got? It might be the first Barkley. Oh. Sean Kemp. I forgot Sean Kemp was in here. That's a rookie card. But it's pretty OC. But those uh, can be pretty valuable too if they're centered right. Glenn Rice rookie. Clyde Drexler, Hall of Famer. That's a cool card. Getting ready to dunk that ball there. That's that's actually a good looking card. Vladi Divac. Is this a rookie card? Vladi? It might be a... I can't remember. Vladi Divac. Set him aside. He's a Hall of Famer, I believe. Joe Dumars, Hall of Fame. Got a bunk uh, corner there on Joe Dumars. Larry Bird. There's a nice Larry Bird. A little bit... Well, a little bit off center on Larry Bird there. But we will go ahead. You know what we do? Just leave the Larry Bird cards. That's what we do.
Not one Hall of Famer in that one, I don't think. John Stockton. There's a Hall of Famer. Looking pretty centered. Maybe a little bit of OC top to bottom. Maybe a little bit. Reggie Miller, Hall of Famer. Set him aside. Okay. So. It doesn't seem like I've been saying Hall of Famer all that often in the last couple packs here. What is going on? Irvin Johnson. With a factory line in it again. You can see that factory line in it. Right. Right there. Ay ay ay. What's going on with that? Was that the second Irvin Johnson with the factory line? Yeah, the first one had it too. Same spot. Same spot. Well, I wonder if that's going to mean the Jordan's going to have it too again, if I get another one. Robert Parrish, Hall of Fame. Dennis Johnson, Hall of Famer. Charles Barkley. Got a little ding in the corner, though. Or something. Something going on with that corner, bottom left. John Stockton again, Hall of Famer. I'm not sure if I pulled the Larry Bird gem or not. I mean, both the jo Magic Johnsons had a line in it. There's a Vladi Divac. Oh, busted up corner. Look at that. Yeah, it's all busted. Dennis Rodman. Hall of Fame. Tyrone Bogues. The second one of him. Reggie Miller. That pack just came right open.
Chris Mullen, Hall of Fame. Dominique Wilkins again. Tim Hardaway. Is that a rookie? I don't know if that's a rookie. I think Tim Hardaway's rookie was 89. Hoops, 89. I think I have that one. Patrick Ewing. Jack Sigma. Hall of Fame. All right, not looking good here. We're down to like less than 10 packs here. Need to pull out another Jordan here, see if we can't get a uh, decent looking card. Akeem Olajuwon, that one's all busted. Sean Kemp, OC, Glenn Rice, Clyde Drexler, that one's actually looking pretty good, Nothing. Mitch Richmond, Hall of Famer. Three packs left. Moses Malone. James Worthy is a Hall of Famer. This is crazy. Two packs left, guys. Only one Jordan so far. And these boxes have gone up to a lot, too. I had a good deal on mine, but it was before they started to skyrocket on price. There's a Jack Sigma. Last pack. Tim Hardaway. Drazen Petrovich. There's the Michael Jordan card. And it's got another... Look at that. It's got another factory line in it. So, these must be hard to get a gem, guys. Especially with those lines that come in them. Look at that. Junk. I'm not sure what they'd grade that. I'd probably... I don't know. As far as if that was the only thing that was wrong with it. It's got a crease in it too. Like right there. You can see it. I think. Maybe you guys can see that. I 
It's got a little bend for sure. I don't know if it's qu quite a crease, but it is a bend. But yeah, that factory line is not not good. So that's that that sheet is getting scratched or something. Somewhere along the line or So we had, let's see, that was a, we had two Michael Jordans, both had scratches. The David Robinson looked good. We had Magic Johnson, Magic Johnson, both with scratches. How about Larry Bird? Um, I don't see any lines in Larry Bird. The Larry Bird card actually looks pretty pretty good. I think that's going to be a decent card. Although I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But that's what we got. So uh, that's what we got for now. I'm not going to open up any more of these right now. But uh, definitely wanted to do that for the channel here. Um, I got some cards I'm going to sleeve up. I'm going to sleeve up all the Hall of Famers and uh, go through these and see if there's any good ones. But I would definitely sleeve them to keep them around. And if I ever want to send some in to get graded, I will. So uh, thanks for uh, joining me. Give a thumbs up. Like the channel. We'll be back with some more uh, box breaks, some card openings, and uh, cool stuff. So uh, this is Brian Man's Totally Awesome Collection. I'm out.